It is a Sunday night in Budapest, and I thought that uh, I'd go out and find myself something to eat, and uh, there's no shortage of places in Budapest to uh, go out and get something to eat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a walk down what's called Vatsi Utsa, and I believe that's spelled V-A-C-Y or V-A-C-I or something like that. I'll tell you in a moment. So I'm gonna walk down Vatsi Utsa. Vatsi Utsa is one of the, uh, well, probably one of the more uh, popular tourist destinations here in uh, in Budapest, and I gotta mind my uh, mind my trap, mind the traffic as I walk along. So this is uh, Batsiucha, it's V A C I, and it's right uh, right behind me. So I'm gonna bring you uh, bring you along. I'm just gonna kind of walk along, and uh, I'm sure I'll find something good to eat. If I don't find something good to eat, I'm gonna go over toward the uh, the Basilica here in, in Budapest. And I know that there's a lot of good places to eat over there as well. So I'm just gonna kind of bring you along and uh, we'll see what we uh, discover here on a Sunday night in, in Budapest. You really never know what you're gonna, what you're gonna see. I love walking through the, uh, the gift stores when I'm in when I'm in Budapest. It's, uh, it's really magical for me to be, to be back here. You can see there's no shortage of wonderful things to, to buy. You know, when I do these videos, and I'm uh, walking along, like I just walked into that store right there. There was a song from Adele that was playing on the store's uh, stereo system. And you gotta be careful because if you're gonna monetize these videos and you get, uh, you get something like that into the video, then the uh, copyright goes into effect. Here's uh, a typical menu that you might see on Batsayutsa Street. I love the uh, I love the goulash. I love the goulash levesh here in uh, in Budapest. That's uh, soup. So I love the love the goulash, and they always put uh, put a little paprika cream into the into the goulash. It's interesting, I'm using a uh, Zion Crane gimbal to do this video. And, you know, some of the, uh, some of the younger folk walking about, they recognize this for, for what it is. And it just gives me the ability to, to walk and I don't have any, uh, any shake on the, on the video. So in addition to finding, uh, in addition to finding your, your typical Hungarian restaurants along this road, you also find the uh, other restaurants too, you know, Turkish and Italian, etc. And here you see they've got some uh, goulash, uh, goulash soup. And a lot of times you'll see it served into a container like this. And this is actually one of my favorite restaurants. I'm gonna come in and show this to you. There's no shortage of uh, music. You always find So this is a uh, definitely one of my. As a matter of fact, I think I might even come back and grab a bite to eat right here. But I just love this. Uh, I love this restaurant. If you're in the countryside of, uh, of Budapest, you might see a nice, nice restaurant like this. Interestingly enough, you know, here it is a uh, Sunday night in, in June, and you know, there's not a lot of, uh, well, there's nobody sitting in here having dinner, interestingly enough. I don't know if that's uh, indicative that it's not a very good tourist season or not. But one would think that there would be 
no shortage of people having having a nice bite to eat here on a Sunday night. Perhaps last night it was a uh, little bit more more crowded. Let's go back and see these musicians here. to the street. It really is a beautiful night. My home back in uh, home back in America. It's needless to say it's quite uh, quite humid this time of year. I call Fort Myers my home these days. And uh, needless to say in in June it's a uh, Quite a humid, humid place to be. So for me to leave the uh, humidity of Florida and come over to the pleasant weather of Budapest is really a wonderful treat for me. It's an escape, if you will. So Vatsyutsu will actually go for a, uh, it'll go for a while. You can see just as if you were in Italy, there's no shortage of uh, gelato here. So you can have one gombak. Gombak is a, uh, is a scoop. So there's all types of wonderful, wonderful flavors that you might get. Even get a, uh, you can even get a Thai massage if you want. That'd be a, uh, something to talk about, huh? You get a Thai massage in, in Budapest. The buildings here, a lot of times people will come to Budapest and they'll, they'll comment on the, on the buildings. And I can show you some of the, the architecture here. The, uh, there's the building. You always see flowers. Oftentimes you see flowers hanging out the, the windows. And again, interestingly enough, it's a uh, relatively quiet evening here. And in the summertime, you'll see that uh, Quite a few people will leave Budapest and they'll go to the to the countryside. They'll go to places like Lake Balaton and Tok Tokoi, Tokai, I believe is the pronunciation, the wine country. Here's a uh, place where they're selling some beautiful souvenirs. One of the big things here are uh, chess sets. Hungarians uh, Hungarians love chess. You can see. Again, you see now I walk into that store and they've got uh, Abba's Waterloo plan. So you always have to be conscientious of that if you're gonna monetize the uh, the videos. Monetize the videos means when you upload a video onto YouTube, you have the ability to give them permission to, uh, you have, you give them the, uh, the permission to show an advertisement on the, uh, on the video. And when somebody clicks on it, then you, uh, you get a little bit of money. And another interesting thing about coming over to Budapest and when I first came here were all the the relics of the uh, the Cold War here you can see hats on sale from the 
the old Soviet Union with the, the hammer and sickle on there. I don't know, do they call these, uh, call these babushkas or something like that, perhaps? I'm actually trying to, uh, trying to get used to using this gimbal. I'm uh, exploring all the possibilities, and as I, as I discover it, you can, you can see, look at this place here. You can see they've got beautiful lace, tablecloths. Yo, Esther. Yo, Esther is uh, good evening. You can see. A lot of beautiful, what do you call that, needlework or, or something, and then you can come in and get some nice, uh, get some nice glass. I remember the first time I came to Budapest, I just went crazy on the souvenirs. serving here. Looks like goulash. Lots of goulash. I like finding the little little restaurants up the uh, beaten path. When I lived here there's all types of places that you can go where where the locals go for dinner. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're coming up on an area just up ahead where I think we uh, I think we go under, unless they've since changed it. Really, is a beautiful night here. Give a big shout out to Oz down under. Oz is a gentleman that uh, watches my videos down in Melbourne or thereabouts in Australia. And uh, he tells me that uh, he and his wife and their son will put the, uh, I think they call it Tom TV call it Tom TV and they put it on the uh, on the telly down there. I don't know if they call it the telly in Australia like they do in, uh, in England. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's called us. To walk along, there's usually when you go into the underground here, you'll see uh, uh, you'll see individuals playing the, the violin, violin, I should say. As luck would have it, the light uh, turned green just as I was approaching. Over here is the, the Danube. interesting thing about Budapest is they like their dogs in Budapest. Hungarians are uh, Hungarians are dog people. I'm sure there's some cat people here and probably even a snake person or two as well. But uh, Hungarians, they, uh, they really like their, their dogs. There's a big dog right there. 
too sure what kind of dog. Is this a Hungarian breed? Sorry? What kind of dog? A uh, French Shepherd dog. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very nice. One of the interesting dogs that you'll see is called a, uh, it's called a Pooley. Not sure how you spell that, P-O-O-L-I-E or something like that. You know, it can be quite the challenge when you're walking along doing these videos. Here I'm going on uh, 15 minutes and uh, trying to keep a uh, narration going it can be quite the... Uh, quite the challenge, but somehow or another I always uh, find a way to figure out what to talk about. Maybe another shot of the, of the buildings as we walk along. As I often say in my, my videos, I like to give individuals the, uh, the experience as if they were here themselves walking the streets of wherever I find myself in the world. Not too much further until we're uh, down to the end of Batsuyucha Street, at least uh, where I'd like to end up. I believe that, uh, I believe that uh, Batsuyucha ends in Borismati, uh, Borismati Tad. I'm probably hacking the, uh, the Majar, but uh, there's some folks having a, this is an Italian, an Italian restaurant. Yeah, I believe that this uh, I believe that this will end up in Borishmati Tad, which in and by itself is a wonderful place. It really is uh, it really is wonderful me, for me to have found my way back here. You know, every time I come back to Budapest. This is my, I don't know how many times I've, I've been to Budapest. I've been here that many. But it uh, seems that every time I leave, you know, you just don't know if you're going to come back again. And when you do come back, it's always a, uh, always a delight. Here's an interesting building here with a nice, nice facade on it. So it took me uh, just under 20 minutes to walk the length of uh, Lhatsi Utsa. And I'm coming up on Borismati Tad. And you never know what you'll find down here in Borismati uh, Tad. I can remember a, uh, a New Year's Eve celebration when I was down here. I was living in, living in Budapest. My uh, girlfriend and I came down to Water Smart Deter, and I remember we brought a bottle of champagne with us and had, uh, had quite a quite a New Year's. That would have been oh, I think it probably would have been 2000 and New Year's 2007. So just over just over 10 years ago. I guess we'll walk you through uh, towards Monkey Tad as well, see what they have going on tonight.
As I shoot this video, I'm coming off a uh, hiatus of about three months without doing any videos. And uh, those that have followed me for a while know that I can just seemingly drop off the uh, drop off the face of the earth when it comes to doing videos, only to come back. So sure enough, they've got a uh, looks like they have had a a market going, and I think this is a uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think they've been having a a book fair here. I was looking at the. Uh, looking at the events of what's happening in, in Budapest, and they were having a book there. <coughs> so, there you have it, folks. There is your, uh, your tour of Batsi, Batsi Utsa Street. Uh -huh. Beautiful Sunday night in Budapest, Hungary. This way, it actually takes you to a, uh, it's another shopping street. It takes you up to what's called Dayak, uh, Dayak Square. So yet another, yet another shopping area. So I'll save Dayak for another, uh, for another video perhaps. And uh, hope you had a hope you had a nice visit to uh, the Vatsi Utsa with me this beautiful Sunday evening here in Budapest, Hungary. Can you think of a better way to end the video with these gentlemen here? So, there you go. There is your, uh, there's your tour of uh, Batsi Utsa. You know, as I close out this video, I, what's been going through my mind all day, you ever hear that song from uh, Sting, An Englishman in New York? I, I was thinking about that song today, and uh, I am a, uh, I am an Amerikai. That's how they call us over here. I am an Amerikai in uh, Majarozag. So, goodbye for now, and uh, see you next time.